Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Thursday, May 6th. Hope everybody's having a good week. Uh, I'm gonna go, for the tr uh, go through the trades for today. And then this is my last week of day trading for the week. We are offline on Friday tomorrow. So I'll come back and recap the week. So for the day, plus $220, small green day. Uh, in the mighty 90s, we took two trades, a loser in Square and a loser in Tesla. Uh, on the pairs trading, did three trades, all three winners. Nice day today, uh, two days in a row, really nice days in the pairs. Uh, Dow versus NASDAQ for plus 250. Dow versus Russell for basically a scratch, plus 24. Silver versus gold for plus 213. So total of 487 on the pairs trades. And then on the runners, had three trades. One in Baba was a loser for 524. NVIDIA plus 255. And Facebook, 792. Total of 523 on the runners. So plus 220 on the day. So let's go over these and then we'll come back and I will recap the week. Starting with the mighty 90s, let's go to Square. Square, square. All right, so square, so, so it's interesting. I was, I was as the market uh, opened pre pre market. My my kind of my uh, my assumption was we were going to see some continuation, specifically in the Nasdaq and Nasdaq related stocks. And so I really did not want to get long, but there was really no opportunities that uh, that I saw or I didn't get filled in to get short on this way down. So I missed the entire flush down. Uh, which was unfortunate because that was kind of my assumption of what we were going to be seeing. Uh, but uh, things started flushing, and I thought, okay, well, maybe we'll catch a bounce. I was a little apprehensive about even getting long, but took the signal, nice volume spike, got long uh, right in this area, or this, I think it was somewhere on this bar, and uh, looking for a bounce. Just kind of market continued to get weak, 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 and then finally got a little bounce and got out of uh, got out of my square there and took a, took a loss of 375. I don't trade square much, so it wasn't a very big position size, but still a loss. And then Tesla, which I do trade a lot, uh, kind of a similar situation. Started having this flush, nice little volume pop. Got long right here, started to bounce, and then really flush. So I added down here and caught this little bounce up, and so I uh, ended up. Net net taking a loss of 415 on that one, so got a little bit back on the bounce. Um, now after after I got done with the live stream, I was looking back at this and I was like, "This is the perfect setup for a downside volume runner." I have no idea why I didn't take it. It was like I wasn't paying attention because I was getting out of my long. Uh, but mo typically, I would have on this bounce here, I would have taken a short in Tesla, which obviously would have worked out nicely. So missed out on that one. Uh, sometimes. You're in the heat of the moment, and you just don't see things. Uh, all right, so on to the runners. Baba, um, Baba was minus 524. So on this, uh, on this, I had I had one little trade in here that was a loser, and I, I can't remember exactly where I got in or out. But then on this bounce up here, uh, I got short and caught this nice flush down. Got out of uh, the majority of my position here down here at the bottom. And then when it bounced up, I added looking for the market was getting weak. I was looking for another continuation lower. Obviously never happened. That thing just ripped us, uh, ripped us up. And so ended up closing it out, taking a loss of net of minus 524 on that one. Um, Nvidia was a nice winner. So after the, after the market started getting strong, uh, this pushed Nvidia pushed up through the highs of the day, pulled back to the unchanged mark, got long right here. And then this thing just moved up, got out of all of my trade except for, I think I had one contract left and it just kept bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. So I ended up cutting out of the last piece down here, but still booked a nice profit of 255. Um, and actually I had taken a loser in here on the, on the downside. I think it was, I uh, can't remember. Maybe I got short here and it started to go and then ripped it. I can't remember. Anyway, my net profit was 255 in NVIDIA on a couple runners. And then Facebook, uh, after the market got strong, got in this one the same time as NVIDIA. Had this nice push up when it pulled back to this pivot. Got long right here, kind of chopped around a little bit and then boom, got out of all of it at this pivot. Had really nice profit, uh, pulled back, got in some more and it pushed up again and got out of most of it. And then my last piece I kind of held on to and ended up cutting out of it down here. But Facebook, my biggest winner, plus 792 on the day. So those are all the trades for the day. 
Uh, let's go over the week, show you what we did for the week. Nice four day work week uh, on the day trading. So uh, on the mighty 90s, booked uh, over 1800 on the pairs trades, biggest pairs trade, pa biggest pairs trading day uh, that we've had maybe ever. Uh, so 22.63.50 on the pairs and then uh, on the runners plus 749.50. So total for the week, 4,899 uh, on 34 different trades. So that puts us year to date on the mighty 90s up a little over 7,100. Pairs trading up over 38 uh, and the runners up almost 24,000. Total 34,785 year to date. And then on the... Um, if we look at the total, going back to the end of August since we started tracking, uh, on the Mighty 90s, up over 14K. Pairs trades, a little almost 4,500. Runners, over 50K now, and a total of over $70,000 on the pairs trading. So continuing to do well, a nice, really nice week, nice bounce back from a red week last week. And so look forward to building on that again next week. We'll be streaming again live uh, on Monday. Remember, we're off tomorrow on Friday. So look forward to seeing you then. If you guys have any questions, let me know.